A chest. I'm gonna touch it. Oh crap! No! <laughs> hey guys, what is going on? The man, the myth, the legend, me, Bleaker, is back once again in the recording seat. I haven't sat here in the recording seat in a while. Actually, that is a complete and utter lie. I sit in the recording seat every time I play on my computer, but today I have turned on my fraps, I have set my microphone to stun, and we are going to play us a new map. What are we playing? Great question. Why am I asking myself that question? Because I know what I'm going to play. Instead, I'm trying to interpret what your guys' questions are going to be as to what the hell I'm playing. So, I'm botching this intro as we speak, as I speak. Screw it, that's besides the point. We are playing the new, unreleased Minecraft map from Mick underscore 5. I'm just going to call it Mick 5. From Mick 5. The journey for the Enchanted Crest RPG, an open world adventure. Where do we begin? Let's do this crap. Have your graphics on fast, that is important. Make sure your render distance is 11 or more. Don't play on peaceful. Particles to minimal, yada yada yada. Already done this. Recommended as a one-player map, only some spawn points and scripted events might not work with two players. Play on normal or hard is recommended. Eh, normal, good enough. Read every sign. If on a server, enable command blocks. To make the command in this map work, press escape on your keyboard, open to LAN, allow cheats, and then start. I right, have already done that. As you can see, the game hosted on port... Who's a what's it? I don't know if I have my mouse enabled. My mouse should be enabled. Uh, this is important. This part is important. This is importanter. The quest diary. My food, that's going to hold me over for the beginning of this map. And my sword. This is kind of the cheat sheet for what all we've got to do. I'm not going to consult that at all this entire game. That's going to stay there. My sword. That I'll read in just a second and I will tell you why. Because this is important. I gotta get the rules and settings, the texture pack, and glitches. Um, the rules, basically, standard rules. What is this? Books and chat for clues throughout your adventure. Don't change the time from day to night. Um, yes. Music. Uh, have I done that? I should have. Music off. Yes. Basically, these are all like your basic settings and rules. The same with like every adventure map ever. Uh, the texture pack, I am playing on Warren. I am playing on Warren. The Warren version point six three, zero point six three. And then there's glitches in the map since this map is still, I guess I am, I've already beta tested once through this. Now this is my second run through for you guys. Yes, so I have gone through, I have played everything so far, or I have done the main storyline, but I haven't done the qu side quests yet. Uh, everything works. When I played it on like 1.8, when I played it on 1.9, it was broke as shit. So if you're playing this map, play it on 1.8.9, otherwise you're going to have a bad time. Um, yeah, that's just, I should not glitch. I have done everything to prevent myself from glitching. Uh, that's important. Make sure you're playing on the where and yes. I'm sorry, I'm just gotta go through all this stuff just so you guys kinda know what to do if you decide to do your own personal playthrough of this. Uh, link is on mixed project page. Render distance, options, video settings, render distance is... Let's just bump her up to 12. Keep the brightness at 50%. I think that's what I have to do. Uh, yeah, I'll just keep the brightness at 50%. Okay, let's go. Read every sign. And this is kind of cool. These are Minecraft heads, but he, like, customized them and stuff. It's really cool. So, my sword. My son, I have hidden my sword in the house somewhere. Find it before you leave. I want you to have it even though it's old and rusty. It will still protect you. Thanks, Dad. I'll leave that here. Down the stairs... Ah, door. Excuse me, un momento. Okay. 
that's better. It's enough of that. Oh! Ew. Makes the same sound as when I flush. Um. Your quest! Okay. Knight's quest. So your journey begins. You have lived here as long as you remember. Your father was a great knight, but now he is no more. Well, aren't you just a whole bunch of joy today? You are about to embark on your quest to become the tr a true knight. But first, look for... A sword. A uh, sword before you leave. You will need some kind of weapon for your trial ahead. Good luck. May the Knights of Valor give you strength, the King's Advisor. Thank you. Set the old alarm here. I'll give myself ten more minutes of gameplay. Otherwise, it's going to be a beast to upload this thing. Can leave you there. Oh, so you right-click here. Map created by Mick5. Credits to Templaro1409 and his amazing builds. Click the credits book in the chest to see more. Oh, I didn't even see this. Cool. I'm going to quick gander through these. Click here. Uh, no, because that'll take me out of here. Um. Okay. Neat. That's all just going to take me out of the game. I don't need to see that. Now I'm looking for my sword. Oh. Yay! Crap! <laughs> hmm, now I have a sword. I should use the key on the log tags. It's a beginner's blade. Your father's old blade, rusty and not very powerful, has an unbreakable charm. Has an unbreakable charm and a magic enchantment. Imbued the blade has grown weak with age. Aww. Okay. Yay! Ho! Oh, so you are... To begin your trials and become a knight. I have a book for you from the king. Here, take it. Thank you. Well, good luck. I'm sure you will make a fine knight. Anyways, use the book I gave you to teleport around by left-clicking where you want to go. Like this. Bye. The journey for the enchanted chest. I did good. Home sweet home. So now this is kind of cool. So your trials are about to begin. Your first test will be to retrieve the red orb from the Temple of Fire. On the second page, you can cl left click to teleport to 10 Mile Island South, the Temple of Fire, or back here, home. Talk to the villagers first before you leave. So if I click on this, I actually will teleport around. So that's actually a really cool feature that I really like from this map. I'm not doing music today. I hate music. Ah, cool. Tallow and Shire. Okay, every once in a while you'll find like little lore like this scattered throughout the, throughout the map to um assist you. It's the word I'm looking for to um you know give you some background on what the hell Mick has created here. So let's see what this is. Information one: you can explore anywhere you like, but remember it is easy to get lost. If you get lost. Use your book to teleport home or elsewhere. There are many chests and secrets in the lands of Tallow Woods. Many treasures to uncover. Uh, yes. Good luck. Thank you. So basically, what I'm going to do around here is this is the Shire. Um, Journey for the Enchanted Crest. The lands you explore in this adventure are called Tallow Wood Shire, and the Shire consists of islands. Each island has a name Ten Mile Island, North and South, the Cactus Island, the Pumpkin Island. Pumpkin Island, Pumpkin Island. Hmm. And Esther Island. You'll find many other towns and provinces throughout the Shire. Good. Vit. There are many traders throughout the land of Tallow Woods, but none are as important as VIT traders. Very important. Oh. It's the very important trader trader. Woo! When you see one, you should always see what they have for sale. Thank you. So, to continue on in this map... Oh, cool. More shit. To continue on in this first part, I really recommend you to actually visit these other couple of houses because they're going to unlock something very important. If we get to it today... I wish to 
I wish you well today on your trials. I heard that your first test is to retrieve the red orb from the Temple of Fire. Well, you should be careful. The temple is supposedly full of traps and puzzles. I have no doubt you will be a great knight just like your father was. Thank you, random citizen. Your father left something, left me some books to give to you the morning of your trials, in case he didn't return from the mission. Now climb the ladder that just appeared, young master. That's my name, actually, and his master. Ooh. Here, we are actually going to get to go to this cool thing today, so check this out. My son, if you are reading this, then I am gone and I have left you our family vault and some treasures as well to help you through your life. One day you will be a great knight and will understand that being a knight has its rewards. So you will definitely need to use the vault room to store all your items you find throughout your adventures. If you use the other books I left you in the chest, you can teleport to your vault. Thanks, Pop! This is actually really cool. Check it. This vault has been built and tested by Vault Co. The last time I heard of vaults, it didn't end so well. So there's just some stuff in here to get us started off. This, the emeralds are what they call, cur are the currency here, obviously. Uh, explore everywhere, find treasures. You may have the main quest to do, but there are many side quests as well to get better weapons, items, currency. Remember to use your teleport books. You know, it's kind of the basic thing. Uh, these are very important. You want to find as many star crystals as you possibly can throughout this map. Oh, cool. I think this ended up being my... The Knight's Trial book. Family Vault. Okay, yes, these are just repeats. So I'm just going to kind of shove all my stuff in there. Okay, I don't need that. Family Vault, the Knight's Trial book. I just got to really quick get my inventory sorted here before I lose my mind. Okay, so I kind of got a little bit of sorting going here. All my books are going to go here. My potions, I'm going to stay here. Currency, when I get it, will go here. Any extra weapons I got, go here. Now, I did shove some stuff in here just in case, just to have access to it. Family vault, there we go. Let's head back home. So now, there'll be ender chests scattered all over the place. It's going to be like your main form of keeping track of... Of keeping track of... No, not keeping track of your stuff. Of accessing your stuff. This guy has some interesting stuff to say. I was out watering the red flowers the other day, and I lost my family heirloom. If you find it near the red flowers, you know, past your house, I will trade you these boots. These are going to be very important. Your first... Last time I played, th when I played through the first time, I did not check the ovens. Now I'm checking the ovens. Now, what I really also like about this is it is, this is the first map of Mix that is actually officially dubbed Open World. And it is going to be very, very awesome. And I've, we're going to have a lot of fun with this. Okay, wrong flowers, but bread. Bread is good. Bread is very good. Uh... I'm not going to go, I will do a lot of the exploration off camera because if you guys are watching through and playing through and planning on playing through this, I don't want to spoil all the surprises. There is going to be one thing that I am going to show. Okay, family family jewel. There is going to be one quick thing that I'm going to show you before we exit out here. And I'm before I, we exit out here, yes. Before we exit out here, I'm going to show you one quick thing that will get you like some extra armor to get you rolling on your, on your individual playthroughs. I found it. I can see it in your hand. Thank you, fine sir. Speed boots. And so now we can run faster. If we so choose. Good luck with your trials. May the Knights of Valu Valor give you strength. So what I'm going to... Ooh, ooh, little bit of, little bit of lag there. Come on, baby. Fight through it. There we go. She's fighting through it now. We good. We Gucci. We Gucci. What the hell am I doing? What am I doing with my life when I'm using the word Gucci? I don't remember exactly 100% where this little place is. I think we got to go over this mountain. It would have been quicker for me to definitely just go around the mountain. But let's be honest, this is more fun. Oh, cool. 12. Holy crap. I don't remember that particular chest. Mostly because I didn't take this particular route to get to where I was going. But I actually found this passageway post-game. I was flying around preparing preparing for the trailer that I'm going to make of this. And I dis 
discovered this on top of... Ooh, that was a chest over there. Yay! Oh, no! Thank you. I was flying around, and I accidentally discovered this. Now, this was already post-game, and I already had the best armor that you could get in the game. But I realized if I had this, it would have definitely made my playthrough just a little bit easier on this first part. So, I'm going to quick come back, and then I will, like, show you guys where I'm... I'm going to quick stop recording. There we go. I'm sorry. It's been so long since I've actually recorded that I've lost my touch a little bit. But, you know, I always come back pretty pretty quack here. Pretty quack here. Pretty quack here. Actually, I think this is it. I found it! Shut up, James. Okay, so I'm going to do this really quick. So there's that house. Eh, you climb down here. One lever. Mm, two lever. Mm, three lever. Yay! Ta-da! Armored leggings! With projectile protection. So kind of in relative to where this little hole is. Let me think here. There's that house over there. It's the only other house on the island. You come back here, climb this mountain, and there you go. But... We'll, when we come back next time, guys, I will actually make my way to the Fire Temple, show you guys what that's all about. Hopefully Mick gets back to me. Mick, if you're watching this, please help me with Fire Temple. I think it's actually over on that island, but we're not swimming casuals. We have teleport books for this. Ooh, a chest. I'm gonna touch it. Oh, crap! Ah!